Hello, this is Miss Devlin. Today we will be discussing world-renowned author Ernest J. Gaines. Ernest J. Gaines was born to River Lake Plantation in Oscar, Louisiana in the year 1933. Born to Adrian Jefferson and Manuel Gaines, his parents worked on the plantation and he grew up in the plantation quarters called Cherie Quarters. When he was eight years old, his parents separated. His mother remarried and moved to California. Gaines stayed in Louisiana, living with his great aunt, Miss Augustine Jefferson. Gaines joined his mother in California when he was 15 years old because there were no high schools available to him at that time in rural South Louisiana. He graduated from high school in Vallejo and then served in the United States Army, winning a creative writing contest while stationed in Guam. Gaines published his first novel, Catherine Carmier, in 1964. Gaines wrote his first novel after his realization of the lack of an accurate Black perspective in Southern literature at the time. It addresses the challenges and heartbreak of returning to the plantation after experiencing a wider world, themes of alienation and separation that recur in later works. Gaines has said that the oral tradition of the plantation and the legacies of personal responsibility and human dignity that he learned from his great aunt were a significant part of his training to become a writer. After returning home to the plantation many years later, Gaines was still pained to see the headless gravestones of the people that came before him. We will now watch a small clip from a PBS documentary about Gaines and his life. You have to be here then to be able to don't see it and don't hear it now. But I was here then, and I don't see it now, and that's why I did it. I did it for them back there, buried under the trees. I did it because that tractor is getting closer and closer to that graveyard. And I was scared if I didn't do it, one day the tractor was going to come in there and plow up them graves getting rid of all the proof that we ever was. He was a writer and in residence at UL Lafayette from 1983 until 2004. In 2010, UL Lafayette formally opened the Ernest J. Gaines Center, an international research center on Gaines and his work. Gaines's works have been translated into 19 different languages, and four of his works have been made into films. Gaines holds honorary doctorates from 19 different universities. After his retirement, the Gaineses built a home on property along False River that was once part of the plantation where he was born. For over 20 years, they have been activists where his ancestors and two of his brothers are buried. Each year on the last Saturday in October, they organize and host a Cemetery Beautification Day, honoring all who lived and died in Cherie Quarter. Barack Obama cited Ernest J. Gaines for his contributions as an author and teacher, drawing deeply from his childhood in the rural South his works have shed new light on the African-American experience and given voice to those who have endured injustice. He died on November 5, 2019, at 86 years old. His brilliant portrayals of race, community, and culture in rural South Louisiana, in particular of both dispiriting and triumphal experiences of Black personhood, made him a greatly respected and beloved, world-renowned author. Thank you for listening, and I hope you learned something.